ISRO performs the final maneuvers to place the Aditya L1 spacecraft in the halo orbit around the L1 point. Now, Prime Minister Modi has posted about this and he says India creates yet another landmark. India's first solar observatory, Aditya L1, reaches its destination. It is a testament to the relentless dedication of our scientists in realizing among the most complex and intricate space missions. I join the nation in applauding this extraordinary feat. We will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefit of humanity. So Prime Minister Modi there celebrating ISRO's achievement as Aditya L1 reaches its final destination. Sagai is now joining me with the phone line right now. Sagai, congratulations pouring in from across the nation and no less than the Prime Minister of course taking this moment to applaud ISRO's achievement. It is a proud moment uh, for uh, the entire country after uh, the success of uh, Chandrayaan and uh, we have also launched uh, Aditya. And now Aditya L1 spacecraft will be pushed into the designated orbit approximately 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. And uh, this is uh, uh, that designated orbit uh, which... Uh, uh, where the Aditya L1 will be reaching any time now at 4 o'clock for the designated time. And uh, it is around 15 lakh kilometers away from uh, us. And it is a proud moment, as Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said, because there are more pinnacles that, the, uh, that Israel has to reach. And uh, after Chandrayaan, all eyes on Aditya L1. And uh, as of now, it is reaching... Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's one of the designations of uh, Orbit 1 where... Uh, it will be reaching and it will do its maneuvering and probably we might get more updates on that how this halo orbit will be working with Aritya 1 and what all the information that Aritya L1 can get from some. Right, Sagai, obviously, you know, this is, again, a big achievement for ISRO. ISRO has been on a roll. We don't want to jinx it. So after Chandrayaan 3 and, of course, the way they kick-started with ExpoSat this year itself, now Aditya L1 reaching its destination. Absolutely. Aditya L1 carries seven payloads designed to observe the photosphere, chromosphere, and the uttermost layers of the sun, known as uh, as the corona and this four payloads employ a combination of electromagnetic particle and a few others which will also collect and study the features of a uh, sun and uh, the entire world is also looking at this particular uh, uh, the, uh, mission of ISRO and probably once it reaches the designated places and once we get uh, all the research items we'll get to know how successful was the Aritya L1. Okay, let's listen in to Prerna Chandra now. Sagai, thank you for joining us. ये इंडिया का पहला सोलर ऑब्जर्वेशन के लिए भेजा गया मिशन है जो सन पे भारत की पकड़ को और ज्यादा मजबूत करेगा अब सन को समझना हमारे लिए क्यों इतना इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज़ सन जो है वो हमारा आ, हमारा पूरा सौर मंडल सन के इर्द-गिर्द घूमता है हम लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स के लिए सन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एक कमोडिटी है इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंस रखता है साथ ही साथ क्योंकि सन का एक लाइफ साइकिल है ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सन में ऐसे बहुत से चेंजेस आते हैं जो हमारे स्पेस वेदर वेदर को जो है वो किसी ना किसी रूप में प्रभावित करते हैं तो इस अदित्य L1 के द्वारा हम सल, सन के ऊपर अपनी डिटेल स्टडी और डिटेल एनालिसिस और डिटेल पकड़ को मजबूत करेंगे और सन के बिहेवियर को समझेंगे so a significant study there which is being conducted by ISRO through Aditya L1 as was being explained over there as well. The Prime Minister now of course lauding this massive achievement by our scientists at ISRO. ISRO has been of course uh, you know on a success run recently with Chandrayaan 3 and now Aditya L1. It started and kick started this year with the ExpoSat as well. So ISRO there being commended by Prime Minister Modi who's just in fact posted on social media about Aditya L1 reaching its destination. He has said, and I quote him over here, India creates yet another landmark. India's first solar observatory, Aditya L1, reaches its destination. It is a testament to the relentless dedication of our scientists in realizing among the most complex and intricate space missions. I join the nation in applauding this extraordinary feat. We will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefit of humanity, unquote. So the Prime Minister there saying 
ISRO has done a phenomenal job and the entire nation, in fact, is commending our scientists who've been at it relentlessly, setting themselves one goal after the other to achieve. And with that is a wrap on this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching India Today. For more